forensic anthropologists, we're physical anthropologists who specialize in the human skeleton. Uh, most of us work for medical examiners, coroners, uh, the military. We help mainly with two questions. One would be identification. If a body is compromised, it's burned, mutilated, mummified, decomposed, or maybe just bones, we would help the pathologist in identification. And the other would have to do with cause of death. Um, looking at the bones to determine if there are bullet entries and exits or sharp wounds, sharp instrument wounds or blunt instrument trauma. One of the things I enjoy about my work is that it's never the same from day to day. If I go into the lab on any given day, I never know what I'm going to expect there. And I like the fact that I have my feet in two different worlds, if not three. Um, some days I go to the forensic lab and work with my colleagues, very science oriented. Um, some days I stay home and I write all day. And some days I'm out in California on the set of Bones um, filming an episode. So I like moving between three different milieu. I've done some international cases. Um, I did go to Guatemala to help uh, the Forensic Anthropology Foundation of Guatemala exhume a mass grave, some of the victims of the Civil War that went on there and ended in 1996. Um, I do a lot of case work in both Canada and the U.S. Um, I worked at Ground Zero, um, which was probably the toughest case I worked on. I spent a two-week deployment there, partly at Ground Zero and partly out on Staten Island where all of the tens of thousands of tons of debris were being transported. That, that was probably the toughest assignment I ever had. I think it takes a certain psychological makeup to go into my line of business. Those of us in the forensic sciences all work as a team and I will work on any given case with a chemist or a toxicologist or a dentist or pathologist. And we all develop techniques because we work on, I work on the victims of violent crime, the victim, him or herself, the body or the remains. So you have to develop techniques to be able to distance yourself, to not become emotionally involved in every case or you're not going to be any good at doing your job.